Hey everybody, John Jacoby here at San Antonio's Top Realtor. Wanted to make this video because in 2021, it's been a bloodbath out there. Uh, just trying to get offers accepted has been a nightmare. So there's been a ton of agents out there that are at, reaching out to me. I made a Facebook post the other day that said, there was 35 offers on a property and my client won the contract. Now, how did I do that? So stick around, I'm gonna share with you exactly what I'm doing to get offers accepted in this crazy, crazy market uh, here in San Antonio. Of course, depending on what market you're in, uh, some of this stuff may apply. I think a lot of this is universal and you can do anywhere. Uh, so the first thing I wanna go over is you have to get out of your mind what we've done so so long, or for all these years we've been doing uh, little things in the contract that are gonna be a detriment to, to you today. So one of those things is the uh, the option fee. So do you really need to get an inspection done on a property? Uh, yes, you may need to, but there's probably somebody else that's just gonna say, hey, you know, I'll take it as it is. So keep that in mind, if it's a good clean property, do you really need to ask for an option period? And if you do ask for an option period, you can leverage that option period. So on one of my previous transactions that recently got accepted, a ton of offers on this property, we got our bid accepted by, we knew uh, just by doing a little bit of digging that the seller may have been a, a little bit of a little bit strapped for cash. So one of the things we did was we we up the option fee on the contract. We told the seller, "Hey, listen, if you accept our offer, uh, we'll give you a five thousand dollar option fee for a one day option." Uh, so that's pretty much the same thing as saying, "Hey, you take my bid today, you're going to get five thousand dollars tomorrow while we wait to close this deal." Uh, so for a seller that needs cash today, that could be the 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 differentiating factor whether you, they take your offer or they take the next offer uh, so having that skin in the game shows that you're dedicated motivated and serious about closing on that property uh, the other thing is is uh, doing uh, you know limiting uh, how many seller concessions that you're asking for so uh, seller concessions can be anything from paying for title policy if it's a multiple offer bid like the 35 35 offers on one property we went in on that contract it was listed for 165 we offered them uh, up to 186 so coming in twenty one thousand dollars over the asking price for the buyer to pay for the title policy for waiving the option period uh, if they don't provide a survey, the buyer will pay for one. And on top of all that, we gave the seller a two week free lease back so they have time to move out and move into their new house. So it really doesn't get any better than that, guys. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you are submitting your offers to be uh, so where it just doesn't get any better than that. And that's how you win the bid. When, whenever there's multiple, multiple offers, a lot of people that want the same house, uh, you have to be able to prepare your clients in advance. Going into that situation, you have to give them scenarios. Look, you know, you know, I'm a member of different Facebook groups. I see that agents are submitting their offers fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars over asking price. Are you prepared to submit an offer twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars over the asking price if this house works for you? So that is very, very critical to getting an offer accepted in this crazy market when you're battling and feels feels like you're fighting to, to just to get something accepted. You have to have that understanding with your client in advance uh, before you even go look at the house and let them know how the market is. Be upfront with them. Don't be afraid to, to tell them what they need to hear in order to get it accepted. Uh, so, so waiving the option periods, waiving the contingencies, having the buyer pay for title policy, uh, using the option fee as as negotiating leverage in the front end of the deal. Hey, you get you accept my offer, you get cash tomorrow while we wait to close. That's another good play to to use. Um, giving the seller time to move out. Uh, chances are if the seller's selling their house, they're probably having to buy another house as well. And they're probably dealing with the same stuff on, on that end as well. So, so you wanna make sure that there is uh, ample time for that seller to get moved on and get into their new house uh, to make it a smooth transition. Uh, but it all boils down to, to setting the expectation properly with your clients and making sure that you are able to, to, to improve their offer at every single point in the contract. Uh, one of the things uh, a lot of agents say, okay, well, 
what if it doesn't appraise for that? Check, you know, when you, you're working with a buyer client, you should know what their budget is. So I knew that, that this last client with the 35 offers, they had about $2,000 in wiggle room. So we did an appraisal, a partial appraisal waiver. So, so if it comes in $2,000 less on the appraisal, uh, we are willing to, we're negotiating that up front, willing to put in the extra cash to close that deal. So that way the seller knows that they are getting the best offer at the end of the day. Um, one more tip, uh, sellers and agents typically want, you know, their priority is going to always be number one, cash offers, number two, conventional loan offers, number three, FHA, and then VA. So anything you can do to get a buyer to submit the offer initially with cash, conventional, that's what's going to uh, look most appealing uh, to the agent on the other side, uh, making sure that you as the agent are communicating with the with the other side. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. So-and-so agent, I just submitted an offer on your listing. I uh, wanted to see when we can get an answer and just doing whatever you can to get a response and making the terms favorable and setting the expectation with your clients up front. Uh, John Jacoby here, San Antonio's top realtor. I hope this content was helpful for you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if I can ever help you with anything, grow your business, uh, selling real estate, or if you're interested in joining us at eXp Realty, it's truly been a life-changing opportunity. Feel free to reach out to me. Call me directly, 210-857-6942. John Jacoby here, San Antonio's top realtor, wishing you lots of success in 2021.